Hello lovelies. So this week I really want to touch more on how to work with your crystals. So a few weeks ago we touched on how to start. So you pick a crystal that you are really attracted to, one that you're not so attracted to, and then you journal the process. You really write, just bullet points is fine, um, write down how you feel, why you've picked which crystal, how it feels to carry it, how you feel afterwards. It is a process. You want to start to see patterns and you will naturally start to see patterns, but you have to persist with it. Now, working with crystals, you can go really, really deep with crystals. I could run workshops on crystal um, manifestation grids. This is a really fun workshop where you put together basically a shape made out of crystals, each crystal having its own intention. It gets really in depth. You really break down what you want and then how to go about that and associating a crystal with each thing. But that's not what we're going to talk about today, because I just want to give you some few hints on how to start working more with your crystals. So now you've picked one you like, one you're not so like, you're keeping a journal of your progress. Now what can you do? So we'll, I'll always go back to this. I really want you to build on your ability to intuitively pick a crystal. I think that's such a powerful thing to be able to do. You know, you say you've got a few crystals and you get up in the morning and you think, OK, I'm going to carry a crystal. And you just your intuition just flows through you and you just pick one. That's such an amazing thing to be able to do, because some people it comes really naturally to. Some people need to work on it to be able to achieve that. But if you can work on it and build that, your intuition will be flowing. Your energy will be very connected to the wider energy around you. You'll be living in flow and life will be so much easier. I promise you, really just try it. Something that you will get from journaling because you will see the proof of picking the crystals and then over time it may be that you then can start to intuitively pick your crystals easier so my first suggestion is if you haven't already start to really pick your crystals on an intuitive level and that literally means just picking the one that calls out to you it might be the color is really attractive to you that day or you just want to touch it or it seems really like inviting there's just something about it that makes you think yeah that one and you don't have to consciously know why you don't have to have an answer why you just go with how it feels that's one thing i really really want you to work on Another thing is you can start placing crystals around the home. So it depends on how many crystals you've got and what you want. But there's certain crystals for certain areas of the home to bring about certain energies you would want in those places. I will go into more detail in the blog. I'll just give you a highlight of the various things that I want you to start doing if you want to work further with your crystals. Then you can meditate with them. So say you want to really connect with your connection to the higher source whatever your belief system is god the universe mother nature and you want to enhance your crown chakra we are going to cover chakras soon in videos so do keep checking back for those then you could meditate with a crystal associated with your crown chakra for instance clear quartz place it just above your head when you're going to meditate and meditate now your meditation could be that you're going to lie still and Try not to think about everything. Let thoughts pass you by for five minutes or you might do a guided meditation or you might have your own method of meditation. I'm not sure how far along on your meditation um, experience you are. If you've never tried it before, you could literally just hold a crystal in your hand. Whichever crystal you've intuitively picked it doesn't have to be a specific crystals. I'm not about hard and fast rules. It really is about you connecting back in with yourself, your intuition and what you need. So pick a crystal that you like the look of. And decide that you're just going to lay still. No TV, no talking songs. By talking songs, I mean you might have music, but it's just an instrumental that's really nice or a meditative song. You know, you can YouTube many of them and just lay and listen and let yourself go wherever you're going to go. And don't overthink anything. Thoughts will come up like, oh, am I going to have for dinner for tonight? Oh, I need to add that to the shopping list. Oh, I need to do that. Just let them literally walk past in your mind and just focus on the crystal and then like I always tell you to do this journal it so right you know I'm meditated with this crystal and I felt like this afterwards and then if you're going to keep doing it you might do it every week you might want to build up to doing it every day if it's just five minutes a day it really just makes you put life into perspective get a bit of a breathing moment from the busyness of life 
and connect back in with yourself and your crystals will enhance that so it's another way to really utilize your crystals you can give your crystal a task this is another way of doing it so it will sound a little bit kooky but the more of a relationship you build with your crystal like with a human being the more you'll get out of it what you put in you get out so say you have an amethyst and you want it to help you sleep because you're finding it hard to sleep you can hold your crystal in your hand and focus on the crystal keep your eyes open or you can shut your eyes and feel the crystal and really ask it you don't have to say it out loud you can just say it in your mind to help you sleep give that solitary crystal one task and then put it aside put it next to your bed let it do its thing then if you've got another piece of amethyst and you want that to help you meditate for example then give that the task of meditation give each crystal an individual task and then they can come back and do that for you so much quicker because they're given a solitary thing to do so it can ping out to the universe and come back this may all sound really kooky but i promise you start doing it you know even if you're thinking this woman is chatting what is she on about you know i don't understand it sounds a bit out there try it try what feels comfortable and build up but my example to you is my explanation to you rather is that if you give your crystal a task it can go and do that really quickly because it's got a focused intention so it will go and do that and then you can start to see the change right and you can do it with any crystal with any intention you can really go by intuition or you can look up the descriptions of crystals but i'm trying to get you to tap into your intuition so give your crystal a task yeah so that's four ideas so you've got intuitively pick crystals which i really want you to work up to doing then you've got placing them around the home and i'll go into more information about that in the blog then you've got meditating with them again i explain that i will explain more again in the blog and then you've got giving your crystal a task so it's a really good way of connecting in with your crystals using them a little bit more widely and really starting to get that relationship building between you and your crystals because it's a really powerful place to be you know to know that you have all this energy at your fingertips quite literally and you can make such a difference in your life so go read the blog go try it go let me let me know how you're getting on